Hi, it's Erica from Mind Body Beauty and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I have uh, something quite practical, a video that is a makeup starter kit. And this is all drugstore stuff, but this is all stuff that is, some of these things are my absolute favorites. Some of them are holy grails. They're all really good things. Everything I have here is under 100. And this is all that you would ever need. I mean, if you have this stuff, I don't feel like you need to go out and buy more and more. I just picked my favorite stuff, and first of all, we are going to start with the face. I didn't choose a primer just because um, the primers I do have from the drugstore aren't as good as the ones that are high-end. It's not absolutely necessary. I mean, baby skin from Maybelline's okay, but I really love L'Oreal's Even Better. It comes, or it's not called Even Better, but... I like it more than the Maybelline baby or baby face baby the L'Oreal one comes in a pot and it's around 10 bucks but <clears throat> it's not necessary so the two things I picked was the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation and also the Ready Set Gorgeous concealer I really like this con or this foundation because it has a really nice finish it has a satin finish and it doesn't feel like too heavy on the skin it just is great and I really feel like it just evens out my skin tone and makes my skin look really nice without making it look like there's a mask and I talked about both of these things in my ready set gorgeous demo and review and I will link that down below because I have a lot more information there for you guys this is more or less a brightening concealer and I don't believe that you necessarily need necessarily need a Concealer for um, blemishes and those types of things, especially if you're new with makeup, just get a nice foundation that looks nice and natural on the skin. And then instead of a highlight, you can tackle two birds with one stone and you just apply the concealer right here and then blend it. And you can also even go right down the nose and on the cupid's bow and even in the smile lines. So yeah, this will conceal dark spots, or not dark spots, this will just conceal like your under eye bags if you have them and it will also highlight sticking with face type of things um, now you just need one blush and here I have two blushes and I picked both of these because they both have a slight shimmer and that's nice for both blushing and it'll give you a little bit of highlight as well and also these come with brushes it takes a lot of time and money mainly a lot of money <laughs> to build up a, bl a brush collection I have a couple recommendations that I'll get to later but if you're really you know want to just stick to makeup and do brushes later I recommend it because these brushes are just fine I mean especially to contour with but they're just fine to use with the blush I have a bronzer and this one is from NYC NYC and it's the color wheel mosaic face powder and this is obviously the bronzed one I really love this because it doesn't have any shimmer in it and if you're just starting out and you want to contour and everything this is a really nice bronzer because it is mattified and even if you wanted to whether you're contouring or you want to make it look like you are tanner than you really are this is a really good one and let me just go ahead and talk about the brushes now um, I have the real techniques trio and I forget what it's called but it comes with a set of three brushes for $17 and you also get a case with it I don't know where my other brush went and I think that was like a foundation brush which I never used anyway so you get like a they call it a buffing brush but this is nice for blush and then they also give you a contour brush and this is I use this for either highlighting or contouring well the shape of this one but it's perfect with the color wheel you know it's not too big you just go ahead and swirl it right in there tap off the excess and kind of go down just like that and I don't have a mirror or anything so this might look jacked up but we're gonna go with it so yeah it's easy to use talking about eyes 
Um, I do recommend a primer, especially if you're going to be wearing eyeshadow. I have this one, the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, and this is actually my favorite primer. It's very comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, this primer is just great. Actually, I prefer it over a ton of different high-end primers, and that only runs you a dollar. And they have different colors. The color tattoos from Maybelline are great. I like them because they do distribute color, but they're not going to crease up on you, so you could use these as a base. So if you're not going to use like a real true primer, the color tattoos are great. And I have uh, Barely Beige, which is like a shimmery champagne. I really recommend like a brighter color. So yeah, Barely Beige or um, Inked in Pink, which I always use as well. And if you have the color tattoos, you don't even necessarily need eyeshadow. But if you wanted to do some eyeshadow, I recommend the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trios over any drugstore eyeshadow because they are so cheap, but they also are so pigmented. I have knock on wood, and I must say that's one of my favorites because nothing's too, too shimmery in there. And those are just like pinks and reds. And then I have Silent Treatment, another favorite of mine, even though there is like a very deep color. Be real careful with that one. Um, these two colors are also gorgeous. That taupe color, that's a perfect taupe color. And uh, the brow bone color is also not too shimmery. And then I also have I'm Getting Sunburned, which is completely shimmery if you're more of a shimmery type of girl. It's a really pretty gold, which I feel like is a good dupe. It's not exactly a duplicate of Half Bake from Urban Decay, but it's pretty close. And then also this nice pink purple color and then you get that dark dark brown with like red glitter in it another alternative just in case you uh, you know can't find the wet n wild ones or whatever if you aren't gonna buy those another good one is Maybelline's designer chocolates you know I would have just stopped with the color icon trios but I had to give this one a mention because it comes with four shades and you also get like a liner color in there and uh, the crease color is really nice for the lid and then um, you get a lid and a base color too. I really like this because you get a satin finish, a matte finish, and a shimmery, or not shimmery, but um, like a metallic finish. This is the Milani Brow Fix and this is all you will ever need to do your brows. Now mine is destroyed I've had it for years but this actually comes with right here um, a little angled brush which I still use till this day to do my eyebrows because it's nice and thin and perfect it's just like just enough there's not too much brush there it also came with tweezers and a sponge tip applicator this was a really nice highlight color and then you get two matte colors as well and those are for your brows but if you bought this you can use it for your brows and for your crease too say you got like an all shimmery palette and you need like a matte brown this would be perfect for both of those reasons and then right on the back and this is actually how I learned to do my eyebrows is they have a little chart right here on how to do them exactly also with the eyes some physicians formula products they are great um, I recommend the what, physicians formula shimmer strips custom eye enhancing eyeliner trio you get three of them for ten bucks I don't remember which ones these came with but they have like some um, browns and those types of colors or you can go more colorful and you get a black or a brown and then you get like a pop of color like a purple or a blue um, I wouldn't recommend you any other eyeliner from the drugstore if you're starting out because you get multiple colors you get three colors for ten bucks so these are great and they're also the staying powder is really nice and they're pigmented also I have to recommend another eyeliner actually from the drugstore but this is different because it's a nude liner and this is the Rimmel Scandalize 005 in Nude and I use this in my waterline all day every day and this also does not smudge and it also actually has pigment so you are going to get that nude color right in your waterline so I really love this nude liner it's the only one that I ever use if you are going to get a couple tools cosmetic wedges these wonder wedges a hundred of them for three dollars or you can get like uh like 20 of them for a buck and these are usually how I do my makeup I mean before I went brush crazy and bought a bunch of brushes a couple months ago um this is all I ever used also an eyelash curler 
I would not recommend an eye a mascara without an eyelash curler. It does wonders. And this one's by Revlon. It was about five bucks. Mascara. Oh, these mascaras are the best. Actually, my absolute favorite from the drugstore. Actually, my absolute favorite from any store is the Organic Wear by Physicians Formula. This lengthens. Oh, it just does such a good job at lengthening and separating the lashes and it doesn't really budge. I mean, once it dries, it's there and you will have lashes all day. So I really love this one. Okay, now last for the lips. Easy stuff. NYX has lip glosses. These are four bucks a piece. You don't even necessarily need a lipstick with it because they are pigmented. This one's apple strudel. I also have cherry cheesecake which is like an orange and I also have peaches and cream which is a nice bright pink see see how pigmented those are that's great and then lastly meringue and this is like a kind of like a purple pink but yeah these are pigmented and they're not like sticky you know they're not like annoying to wear they actually do feel like butter that's why they're called did I say butter glosses so yeah I have four of those I love those if you're more of a lipstick type of girl, I have some like balm stains and these ones from L'Oreal, brighter ones are going to be more pigmented, but they are pretty pigmented and I'm not going to swatch these because I have swatches of these on my blog. So I'll link that down below. Also Revlon makes a balm stain type of thing and I just have one of those and this is in Creamsicle. These are called Revlon Lip Butters. Yeah, so you're gonna get pigment but also like moisturization and lastly the baby lips which I love the Maybelline baby lips this is their version of a lip butter type of product and this also this doesn't give you as much pigment actually I think this is the only one that has any type of pigment but it's nice for if you're going back to school and it's just nice to throw in your bag so those are my recommendations um, for a makeup starter kit. You know, I know I said a lot in the video, oh, when you're going back to school, da-da-da-da-da, but you don't necessarily have to be going back to school to benefit from this kit. And if you have a hundred bucks to spend on makeup, I would say get everything on this list and you will be happy. I know I would be. I mean, I am. I have like multiples of everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I don't know what you're waiting for because I make new videos every single week. And like this video if you liked it. And even if you didn't like it anyways, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.